When you are having DPF problems, the world as you know it might feel that is coming to an end. No more money for holidays, no more money for presents, no more shopping on Amazon. Are you considering shopping on AliExpress? To save you from all of that doom and gloom, we are here to discuss DPF cleaning. Since many, many years ago, on the commercial vehicles, there is a servicing process that the DPF undergoes, which is cleaning that filter. The commercial vehicles are even designed in such a way that the DPF filter is easily removed and swapped for another one. Some companies, and I'm going to give you the example of what Renault truck is doing, they are taking the filters, inspecting them, doing a proper clean, and after that the, the same filter or a filter will be sent to another lorry, another truck to be used as normal. The same technology, same principles are now trickling down their transitioning to our passenger vehicles and DPF cleaning is now available even for the smaller vehicles. On top of that, big chemical factories, big chemical manufacturers have identified the possibility of making some money in this area of the business and they have developed products that are allowing us, even the mere mortals, to facilitate the DPF cleaning as a DIY even at home. So to make sense of all of these products and to make sense of all of these possibilities, we are going to cover the different levels at which we can perform this DPF cleaning. Okay, DPF cleaning, I'm uh, phrasing it very broadly because I'm using the same term for the soot content. If we want to address it very, very particularly in very big detail, DPF cleaning can be considered the removal of the ash because the soot should be able to be cleaned by the vehicle each and every time when it regenerates. However, many of the smaller users, the users with small vehicles, are having a problem even on the soot side, so we're gonna consider DPF cleaning either soot or ash. Level number one. Before attempting to clean your DPF, we need to answer the following question, or you need to answer the following question. Why did your DPF fail? Why did your DPF cause you any problems? Unless you are somewhere at very high mileage, 100, 150,000 miles, your DPF shouldn't need any cleaning, shouldn't need any assistance. The DPF is not the cause in itself, the DPF is a symptom of other things not going right in your engine or other things not being okay with the way that you're using your vehicle. So first level that I would say we can go for if we are addressing the DPF is to perform a diagnostic check. So having a diagnostic tool, we go to the vehicle, we do a scan, we assess what other problems are inhibiting the regeneration and providing that we are able to fix those issues, we will after that initiate an active regen. Ideally, we go for a regen that is having the vehicle rolling. We don't, we, we avoid force regens that are keeping the vehicle on a fixed place. Okay, that was the first level. The way that we're using, or we're using a diagnostic tool to force a regen. Also keep in mind that the force regens shouldn't be repeated. So if you try to do it once, stop over there because when you force a DPF regen, your oil gets diluted, other, other things are happening and you might induce all sorts of damage to your vehicle. Level number two. This is where we're starting to, in to introduce the chemicals. This is where uh, all the chemical magic is going to be happening and it's going to uh, try to help you in achieving the same same process. So should your DPF soot buildup not allow the vehicle to perform um, the regeneration, at level two, we are using chemicals, chemicals ideally used from big names in, in the industry. So I have in mind Manol, TuneUp, Burner, GLM, some guys from the Netherlands, Wolf, Liquimoli, 
and also I've noticed in the UK, Launch UK are producing a very good cleaner. The ideal cleaner will be used just before the DPF on the exhaust side. I've seen some companies are also selling something that goes on the intake. I would personally stay away from that because if we think of the process of where that foam and that chemical is going through, I would avoid something that can go in my combustion chamber, interfere with the lubrication of my combustion chamber and give me all sorts of other issues down the line. So a cleaner or a chemical injected just before the DPF in a foam pattern, it will soften up the soot, maybe displace some of the, that uh, soot content and eventually after that, providing that I'm still using a diagnostic tool, providing that I'm still uh, able to force a regen or get the vehicle to regen, I'm able to clean or get the DPF to clean itself. First two levels sorted. Level three. This is where we're going for a professional. This is where we call the man with the van. And there are quite a few options out there. Choose wisely. Choose a company that is reputable. Choose a company that gives you confidence that they know what they're doing. In the UK, a person that outputs quite a lot of content is, I'm going to link it somewhere, uh, that guy or Riley or something. Um, his approach to working on the vehicles is one that I resonate with. He is not taking any chances and he has quite a mellow um, approach to DPF cleaning. I'm not 100% agreeing with all of his comments and his descriptions. But from a work point of view, I would have him work on my vehicle and I'm really, really picky with the people that are working on my cars. So we addressed the bit in which we're sitting and enjoying the sun, spending the money, but getting someone else to do it. The advantages of doing this is they will have better dispensers. So maybe we're still able to use the same chemicals, but the professional company will have the appropriate tools to dispense that uh, that foam will have proper tools for undoing all the nuts and bolts and they will have the diagnostics that goes and uh, completes the circle for those of you that have even more courage we are reaching or we have level four where providing that we attempted some of the other steps and we couldn't get the dpf to clean itself or to function correctly we are now going for cleaning it by ourselves with the DPF removed. Here is where all sorts of uh, chemicals might be used. And should you want to do the research and should you want to attempt it by yourself, there is a guy called Stephen B. I will link his content somewhere. He has documented his process, his chemicals and the way that he has cleaned the DPF by, by himself at home. Personally, if I done all of the hassle and if I removed the part, nowadays I wouldn't go for cleaning it by myself because the, the overall pricing for getting a company that specializes in doing this is now quite affordable, somewhere in the 150, 200 pound range. You're able to send your DPF you'd remove it, you send it to a place that specializes in doing this, they will, I'm going to show you some videos, they will place it in a machine, they will blow the air, they will clean it with water, dry it, maybe they will assess or they should assess the flow rate before, the flow rate after, on the lorries, um, because the load is even bigger, they assess the weight before and the weight after you're getting a far, far better result when you're going for a company that has the proper tools. Now, some other companies are also doing an interesting, things that, an interesting thing that I've um, looked at. They are refurbishing the filter, so they will be spraying it, they will be doing some stuff. Also, they are using this respraying bit to ensure that your vehicle is working properly. So the overall idea behind them respraying your, your DPF filter is that from a warranty point of view, 
they want to see that your vehicle is able to regenerate the filter. They spray your DPF filter and if your vehicle is able to regenerate, all of that spray, all of that color will peel off, showing to them that your vehicle is able to regenerate. Should you have a clogged filter and your DPF still has their paint, that is a very precise or that is a very clear indication that your vehicle is not able to do the regeneration. Okay, I went a little bit off track. We come back to, to our overall discussion. First of all, make sure that you're able to diagnose and understand the reason why your, your DPF needed the cleaning. Choose one of these four, five options. Do the work properly. Use proper tools. Keep in mind the fact that doing at home many of these things will um, imply you disposing of all sorts of chemicals or interacting with some chemicals that are not really that good for you. See how the things are going. Don't panic. And this information should save you from spending that uh, premium at the dealership that is trying to sell you a brand new DPF filter. Now, I hope that you learned something and you enjoy this type of video. Should you want to work with me, get in touch using the social media or our website. Maybe show some appreciation, a comment, a like, a share, maybe a subscribe. This will be all for this video and hopefully I will be seeing you in the next one.